you can always find Pigeon and an Elephant in Piggy Book. In fact, Mo Willems puts a uh, pigeon in every book that he writes, doesn't he? All right, so we'll look for him as we read our story today. But before we read our story, let's do some deep breaths, okay? Can you tell who my hat is supposed to be today? Yes, I think it looks like a good Gerald hat, don't you think? All right, so we're going to breathe through our elephant noses. And I found a good book that I wanted to share with you today. It's called Alpha Breaths. All right, so it takes a whole alphabet, and it actually um, shows you different ways to breathe with each letter of the alphabet. So we're going to start with the letter H, all right? And with the letter H, we're going to do a kind of breath called hugging breath right and it says close your eyes give yourself a hug and gently breathe in and out so sit up nice and tall so your breathing will work well and take your arms around you and give yourself a squeeze all right and breathe in and breathe out yeah big breath in and a big breath out Huggy breath really works really well because you're getting a shoulder stretch as well. All right, now take your wings out to the side and then take the other arm on top as you bring them back around your body for another bear hug. And this time we'll get the opposite shoulder stretch. So we'll breathe in and we'll breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. You got it? You still with me? All right, we're gonna try another way to breathe. And this way to breathe is gonna be called the superhero breath. So yeah, superhero. So look at all the boys and girls, they have on their masks, they have on their um, uh, superhero capes and their superhero costumes. And it says, breathe in and imagine you are a superhero. Breathe out and imagine you will help someone. All right, so um, let's think about this superhero. Do you know these stories? Do you know this superhero, Eva? You don't know him? All right, they're, uh, they're, the books have been under two titles for the same book. One book has two titles. It first was titled Superdog, and then it was titled Dex, the Heart of a Hero. And it's about the same character. So see, he's got a D on his chest for Dex, right? You see the D? And, um, and he is a dog that has superpowers. He can run, and he can climb, and he can jump. He works his muscles. Look at those muscles that he has. <laughs> All right. So um, what kind of superhero do you want to be today? Do you want to be someone who can be invisible? Do you want to be somebody who can travel through time? Do you want to see be somebody who can fly or go super fast or have super strength? What would you like to do today? I think I would like to be super strong and super brave. What about you? Well, let's pretend as we breathe in that you be that superhero. Maybe your costume has a cape or maybe it has a mask or maybe it's pink or maybe it's blue. Your favorite color was pink, wasn't it? What was your favorite color? Can you help me remember? Pink was your favorite color. So maybe your superhero costume is pink. So you breathe in and think of yourself as a superhero and then you breathe out and you think about how as a superhero, you can help someone. Maybe you can be super strong or super brave or maybe you can be really fast or invisible or whatever superpower you would like to have. You can climb. All right, that sounds... Oh, all right. Very good. Okay, the last way to breathe today as we tune into our practice with our Alpha Breaths book is going to be one called Xylophone Breath. 
all right? And xylophone breath is gonna be this toy that makes music, this musical instrument. And you're gonna imagine playing the xylophone from the bottom to the top on the breath in. And on the breath out, you play it from the top to the bottom, okay? So I just happen to have a um, xylophone here. All right, so let's get that out. And let's play some music. That'll be the breath in, and on the breath out, we'll let it go. Are you with me? All right, let's try it. Breath in. Oh, breath out. Breath in. All right, breath out. One more big breath in. And one more breath out. All right, I like those new ways to breathe. Hugging breath, superhero breath, and um, xylophone breath. All right, you ready for our story? Okay, so our story today is called Waiting Is Not Easy. All right, and look at Gerald. He's got the big eyes. <laughs> And he's going to get ready to do a hard thing. Do what? Oh, yay! I'm glad you know it. Waiting is not easy, says Gerald. But look at Piggy. Piggy is the perfect yogi in this story. She's very calm. She's very peaceful. <laughs> Gerald! She roll, rocks and rolls in on her cartwheeling. She says, I have a surprise for you. Yay, says Gerald, what is it? This surprise, she says, is a surprise. Oh, says Gerald. Is it big? Yes, says Piggy. Is it pretty? Yes, says Piggy. Can we share it? What does she say? What answer has she given every time? Yes! I, was, I said yes, but I muted myself. Oh my goodness, yeah, I can't hear you when you mute yourself. You are right. I cannot wait, says Gerald with a happy face. And she says, you will have to. Wait, what, why? Asked Gerald. The surprise is not here yet, says Piggy. So I will have to wait for it? Yes. Oh, that's what she says. You are correct. Groan, says Gerald. Look, look at how it almost knocks Piggy over. <laughs> that's a very big groan, isn't it? Oh, well, he says, if I have to wait, I will wait. And so he begins to wait. And then he says, I'm waiting. And then he says, waiting is not easy. Piggy, he says, I want to see your surprise now. And she says, I'm sorry, Gerald, but we must wait. And look at there. There she is with her yogi um, legs. She's sitting. Really oh, let me try to get it closer. Do you see how she's sitting like a yogi? No, I Oh, was it this page you want to see again? Did you miss that page when he's waiting? How about this page? All right, so here we are, and she's sitting in that lotus position. She's sitting so very peaceful. All right. You saw that one? And then what does he do now? Yes, he's so impatient. I am done waiting, he says. He says, I do not think your surprise is worth all that waiting. I will not wait anymore, he says. And Piggy is still peaceful. Peaceful Piggy. Okay, he comes back. <laughs> And he says, I will wait longer. I will wait some more. It will be worth it, says Piggy. 
Oh, good. You say it. Oh, I love to hear you say it. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> Piggy, he says, we have waited too long. He says, it is getting dark and it is getting darker. He says, soon we will not be able to see each other. Soon we will not be able to see anything. We have wasted the whole day. And he's got the crunchy eyebrows. Well, um, says Piggy. We have waited and waited and waited and waited. <laughs> I think you've read this more than one time, Eva. You know it. And what does she say? Yes, I heard you read it. Oh, wow. Look at the lights in the sky. Those are beautiful lights. I believe you refer to them as the, the northern lights. Do what? Very, very pretty. And he says, that was worth the wait. And she says, do you remember how she responds? She says, I know. Oh, my mercy, you are, a, you are a burrito today in your um, yoga mat. Tomorrow morning, she, uh, Elephant says, I want to show you sunrise. And she says, you remember how it ends? What does she say? All right, can you find the pigeon? Where's the pigeon? Oh, ta -da! And the pigeon is enjoying the beautiful sights too. And the pigeon says, what? Eva, that was great. You do know this book well, all right? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to move like the sunshine and like a star. And did you know that the sunshine actually is a star? All right, so we're gonna learn two sequences of movement today before we uh, cool down and rest and um, enjoy um, some relaxation. Okay, so stand on your mat. Are you ready? Okay, stand on your mat with both feet filling the ground really solidly, okay? And breathe your wings up in the air. Reach high overhead, Eva. All right, and then reach down to your toes and bend your knees so you can get there. Yes, that's a girl. All right, and then squeeze your tummy muscles and come up like the monkey. Can you monkey chatter? All right, and then take your hands back down to the mat and then find your plank position. So stretch your body out nice and long and um, you are really strong like a diving board, right? Now, lower yourself to the ground and push your hands under your shoulders and find your snake. Now, toes into the floor, hips go high and find your down dog. Woof, woof. Does your dog bark? Can your dog shake its doggy tail side to side? All right, walk your paws together and inhale, come up halfway to the monkey. And then reach back down. And then inhale your arms up overhead and thumbs to your heart and hands down by your side. So the sun is the closest star to our planet, all right? And so the sunshine, um, can you get some water? Of course you can get some water, okay? I'm gonna do another sunshine while you do. All right, I'm gonna breathe my wings up and exhale and reach for my tipsy toes. Come up halfway, lift and lengthen, crown of the head reaches forward, and then exhale and reach back down. Walk back and find another plank. I am strong, I have courage. I can help others. I can do hard things. I can wait. I can be patient and wait. Lower down, push into the snake, or maybe all the way up into an up dog. 
Then roll over into the down dog. Walk your paws together. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, reach for the ground. And then inhale, arms up high to the sky. And thumbs to your heart and hands down by your side. All right, one more time. The sun, the sun. I said, thank you for the sun. And I open my heart to everyone. The sun rises, the sun sets, the whole world and my heart rest. Take a little rest, rocking those hips side to side, making a pillow with your hands. Again, I rise, ready to live, happy to be, and happy to give. The sun, the sun. I say thank you for the sun. And I open my heart to everyone. All right, who you got there, Eva? Who is your friend? It looks like a giraffe. Do you have a giraffe today? We pretended to be a giraffe in one of our story times, didn't we? All right, now let's be a star with our bodies, okay? So take your toes on your mat and make them uh, point towards your device, okay? Stretch your arms out. So I know you can't see Miss Brum's head, but you can see that your body looks like a star. You've got one, two, three, four, and your head would make five points to the star. There you go. All right, we're going to twist our star to the side. Can you twist your star? And then fold your star. Reach out over your ear towards your device. And then reach it back up to the sky. And then bring your whole body nice and tall so that really strengthens your core. And then uncurl your star and make it nice and long. All right, so we'll do that again on the other side and we'll sing twinkle, twinkle. Little star, bring the arm back up over your head, reach for the ceiling. How I wonder, and then twinkle here, what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay! All right, bring your feet together and let's be the elephant by folding over. Can we fold over towards our toes? Take one hand to your forehead and thread the other arm through for a shoulder stretch and for an elephant trunk. It goes back and forth, back and forth, gently swaying side to side. All right, then lower your hands down to your uh, toes and then take the other hand to your forehead and see if you can thread your um, trunk the opposite direction. Oh, I think I did the same direction. This broom has challenges. All right, just make sure you get both sides done. All right, do you remember that's how to be an elephant? Do you remember how to be a pig? How do we pretend to be a pig? Yes, that's right, knees to chest and rock and roll on your back body. All right, and then let's twist our body by taking knees to one side and your gaze to the other side. It's called a simple twist. Breathing in, breathing out. Then take your knees back to your chest and let them fall the opposite direction and then twist your body away. Face is away from the knees. Face goes in one direction, knees go in the other. Can you see? Or do I need to move the camera? You got it? Are you muted? 
All right, now get yourself comfortable. So if you want to lay down flat, you can lay down flat. If you want to scooch up to your um, couch, you can scooch up to your couch. Uh, if you want to keep your feet wide and knees fall together, all right, you can try any way to rest. You know, Miss Brown's favorite way to rest is to get those legs up high. I like to rest my legs up against um, the couch or the wall. And I was just studying today that that really relaxes, like it lets muscles just rest and not work. Oh, I love that feeling. Nice just to be at rest. You can take your fingertips towards the ceiling. That way they won't try to uh, take in any information or messages. Your fingertips are very tender and sensitive. All right. And I'm going to read to you about the mighty elephant while we rest today. All right. You're going to use your power wisely, mighty elephant. Use your power wisely. So just like with superhero breath, we're going to think about being strong as the elephant. And our mere presence, just being there, our presence commands respect. So picture yourself as an elephant. So this is what you're doing while you're resting. So rest your body. Maybe you can close your eyes as you pretend about being an elephant. You got your toy with you? What's his name or her name? I do see that now. And they're pink. Yeah. yeah is she a Pokemon character? Yes. What's her name? Yeah, what's that Pokemon's name? Eevee. Say it again. Eevee. Oh, all right. Well, you rest with her, okay? And I want you to picture yourself as an elephant and be huge and powerful, slow and dignified, alert and steady. All right? You're going to extend your arms and clasp your hands in front of you, maybe in your imagination to make the trunk all right, you're just pretending that you have that long trunk and you take some swaying steps in your imagination as you are big and strong compared to everything around you. And then stop because maybe your elephant senses that there's danger. Could it be a hunter, a lion, a falling tree? Turn in your imagination and face this danger. Do you need to sound your trumpet? Or should you use your powerful legs to hurry off? Or can you simply stand with your towering presence? You're just being really big enough to scare whatever danger there is away. And like the elephant, you can use just the right amount of power you need. No more no less you are strong like the mighty elephant okay let's rest for one whole minute can we do it very still and quiet starting right now Miss oh man that was a close one i couldn't see anything uh-oh are you got it is it back Okay, all right, so we're breathing and just resting, very still, very quiet, nothing's working. You can lay down, you can sit up, but you just want to rest. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Let your body rest and be still. Let everything that's happened today kind of make pictures in your mind. It's when you rest that things kind of come together. It's the hardest yoga pose to be still and quiet. 
You did it. All right. So wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and then roll your ankles and roll your wrist and invite some movement back into your body. You can rock and roll and make your way to stand, uh, sitting, a tall seated position. You can stretch if you need to stretch or roll your head from side to side. I might would like to stretch my shoulders and my neck today. So I'll take an arm out to the side and take an ear to a shoulder. How does that feel in your body? And then I think I'll take my ear to the other shoulder and stretch the arm long. All right, how do you feel, Mighty Elephant? You and Effie. Effie. Effie, she seems like she's smiling. How are you feeling? You have a smile too. Are you feeling good? Uh, she's lost her hair bow though, yeah. That happens to me sometimes in yoga. My hair works loose. Her hair bow worked loose. All right, so do you feel pleasant feelings right now? Feeling peaceful and calm and energized? How are you feeling? Oh my mercy, she wasn't resting. I thought she was being still. Maybe she just wasn't doing her moving in front of the camera. All right, so our yoga is supposed to help us find those calm and peaceful feelings, all right? So um, you can sit like Piggy sat in the story when she was being patient. Do what? Of course you can. But while you do that, I'm going to read you one more story. Would you like to hear the story about patients with Horton hatching an egg? Or would you like to hear the story about patients with uh, waiting? These little toys are waiting at the window. Which one sounds like the choice you'd like to finish up with today? Okay, have you heard this one before? Oh, how about this? Kevin Hinkus writes all kinds of good stories about um, the, the mice. Have you ever read uh, Wendell, A Weekend for Wendell, Owen, or Lu Little Lucy's, let's see, Lily's Purple Plastic Purse. Um, he, uh, she also writes, he also writes Chrysanthemum. Um, and the one about, um, oh, there's another little mouse one, the little girl mouse, I think. So do you know those books? Oh boy, these are, I'm great. I'm glad to introduce you to something you don't know because these are fun stories and a fun author to know. There were five of them and they were waiting. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So there are five little toys at the window. The owl had spots and was waiting for the moon. The pig with the umbrella was waiting for the rain. The bear with the kite was waiting for the wind. And the puppy on the sled was waiting for the snow. The rabbit with stars wasn't waiting for anything in particular. He just liked to look out the window and wait. When the moon came up, the owl was happy. It happened a lot. When the rain came down, the pig was happy. The umbrella kept her dry. And when the wind blew, the bear was happy. The kite flew high and far. And when it finally snowed, the puppy was happy. He had waited for a long time. The rabbit was happy just looking out the window. Sometimes one of the other or the other of them went away, but he or she always came back. Sometimes they slept, but mostly they waited. Sometimes gifts appeared. When once a visitor arrived from far away and he stayed for a while. Oh, look what animal came to visit. What other toy came to visit? Can you see? We've done a lot of those today. Miss Brum's hat is one. And we pretended to be one with rest time today. Is it a turtle? No. A lizard? No. An eepy? No. What is it? It is an elephant. And then he left and never returned. Uh-oh, what happened to him? Can you see what happened? That's kind of sad. He, he did. He fell out of the windowsill. They saw many wonderful, interesting things. As they look out the window, oh, there's a rainbow. 
They see a thunderstorm. Ooh, they see uh, ice, icicles. I bet you have ice where you live. Do you have ice sometimes? It gets pretty cold where you live. Oh no? There's fireworks. And of course there was always the moon and the rain and the wind and the snow to keep them happy. One day a cat with patches joined them. Was she waiting for the moon? No. Was she waiting for the rain? No. Was she waiting for the wind? No. Was she waiting for the snow? No. She didn't seem to be waiting for anything in particular, but she was. And the cat comes into pieces. And there is a little cat inside each piece. And now there are 10 of the cats. And they were happy together. Waiting to see what would happen next. All right, so today we thought about patience, about that idea of waiting. And we remember that Gerald thinks that waiting is not, you remember? It's not easy, but we can do hard things and we have done some hard things today. We pretended to be the sunshine. We pretended to be a star twinkling in the sky, which is uh, the sun is a star. It's our closest star. We pretended to be an elephant. We pretended to be um, a pig elephant and piggy and then we actually did a rest time we were pretending to be strong and powerful like a mighty elephant all right we used our imagination all right you ready to sing our namaste song okay what was your favorite part of the day before we close with namaste what did you like best what, what did you like best about today Did you like that EP played with you today? Yeah. I think you had a good time with her and her hair bows. Pikachu too. You had Pikachu? Yes. And I think you, en you liked um, being inside your yoga mat today. You were a yoga burrito for the first part of our fun together, weren't you? Yes. Yes. I liked our stories today. I liked our stories about being patient because sometimes I like things to happen speedy quick and I remember to have to slow down and wait. And I liked our new ways to breathe today. That was fun for me. I have an idea for your home. You do? What is that, e Eva? Yes? You, you can pretend those are the houses. Oh, and you could make them all haunted for Halloween? Yes. Maybe make them scary. <laughs> all right, well, hands together for namaste. Namaste is a word that means I honor you, you honor me. Um, that's what's special about me, honors and appreciate. That's what's special and awesome about you. All right, so that goes namaste. Can you say, there you go, is what we say. It's what we say. To the good in you. To the good in me. From the good in me. From the good in me. Say namaste. Namaste. Every day. Every day. And the world. Oh, you did. I didn't hear you. And the world will live in. Oh, you remembered that word. What does harmony mean to you? Um, everybody staying safe. And what else? Oh, you are, that is so good. Yes, that's a great way to describe it. Everybody is safe during the virus and everybody's getting along and the world is a happy place to live. Do, 
Right, because you want to be safe. I hear you. That's good. All right, let's close with Piggy's lotus position since she sat like that. So do you know how to do lotus position? You're going to take one leg and you're going to put it on top of another leg. Can you do that? Yeah, now these legs stack like this. That's called fire logs, all right? So to stack your legs like that is fire log. Now, lotus position is where you're gonna take the other leg, and Miss Brown's a little tight, so I'm gonna see if I can squeeze it out here for you. And that is to get the other leg on top. Can you crisscross your legs again? And that's lotus. And then how did Piggy hold her hands? Do you remember how Piggy hold her, held her hands? Because that was a uh, mudra, a yoga move for your hands when she's sitting very peaceful. Oh, I don't know if she maybe does a, I thought she did. Let's see if I can find it again. I think she does like, it's almost like the okay sign when she's being very peaceful and waiting patiently. All right, so we'll take and make an okay sign. All right, on top of your lotus legs. And breathe in and out. Oh, you're hiding in your yoga mat again. And breathing in and out. <sighs> and breathing in and out. And everything is okay. All right, I'm going to untuck my lotus position. All right, the next time we play together will be our last time, Eva, in the series. And we're going to um, do one more elephant and piggy story. Do you know this one? No. All right, this one is called Happy Pig Day. <laughs> All right. Oh, you see Gerald? I see him too. Yeah. And I want you to be thinking between now and next week, Eva, be thinking, excuse me, about how everybody is alike and how everybody is different. And that's what we want to think about next week, about how all people whatever color or size or shape or um whatever language they speak or whatever foods they like to eat all people are welcome it'll be a happy pig day does that sound good yeah okay anything else you want to say before we sign off today I don't know. you don't have anything else on your mind all right let's take one more deep breath with our xylophone i see my xylophone in here we'll play it one more time you ready breath in There you go, and breath out. All right, Eva, I had fun playing today. I hope you did. Have a great week, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, girl.